The Murray State soccer team became the first team in the Ohio Valley Conference's history to win the season with a perfect 10-0 record in conference play. With this memorable accomplishment, the Racers hosted the OVC playoff over the weekend. And with that brings a great advantage. To host the tournament is obviously a fantastic thing. Um, you know, we get everybody on our home field, um, you know, in front of our home fans, which I thought the fans were absolutely fantastic today. They did a great job for us. Um, but it's, you know, it's important that the kids sleep in their own beds and, um, you know, obviously we have our training room, locker room, all that kind of stuff. So it's, you know, it's, it's a big thing to host the tournament. Having the home, home crowd uh, is, is always just such a, an amazing part of the game. It's, it's not just playing, it's, it's everyone who comes and watches and the, the support we get uh, both on and off the field. So, um, look, I like, you got to thank the fans for coming out and doing that and being such good sports because it really does help the, help the team. Um, so, obviously getting everyone here and, and supporting us is the best, the best thing that we can have. Um, yeah, as a, as a player's point of view, just to help us get going. You know, it's just the uh, culmination of everything we work for. Um, these kids work hard uh, each and every day to win the regular season, have a chance to play for the tournament championship at home. It just means everything. It's what it's all about for us. With only four losses in the season, the racers truly were a team to reckon with. But this was the OVC playoffs. All the teams involved deserved to be there. And game one Friday for the racers was surely a nail biter. A late goal by Harriet Withers ensured the racers played in the championship game on Sunday. Look, um, it's an it's an overwhelming feeling uh, scoring the goals, and obviously I hope for it at the beginning of the game. I always hope to score some goals. Um, Obviously, we all do as, as strikers and, and midfielders, but it's a great feeling and honestly, I can't take credit at all. Uh, the whole team is, is the way I score, like they're the ones who get us all up there. So um, it's really just, obviously it's an unbelievable feeling, but it's all teamwork, so yeah. I think it's full credit to the kids. We've got a mature set of kids who, um, you know, they fight for each other, battle for each other and, you know, they, they just take in every game as it comes, every week as it comes and, you know, they've taken care of business. This is probably the most fans we've had all year and you know they really helped us. I thought our kids were looking a little bit tired there towards the end and um, you know the fans were, were fantastic. Hopefully we can get the same people out on Sunday here. Just as with Friday's game going down to the wire, Sunday's championship game was literally no different. With the game in overtime and approaching the 100th minute mark, Taylor Richardson sparked something that the MSU soccer team hasn't done since 2009. right on top of uh, Richo who scored the goal and she was just laying there smiling just taking it in it was so awesome yeah uh, it's awesome it's a great feeling I've never won something like this so I'm glad we won I mean it's amazing so I don't know I can't explain it um, it's a great feeling and I'm glad I got to um, witness this with my team it's been a great opportunity it's a lot of fun it's unreal like I couldn't even imagine like we just had a perfect season I'm freaking out it's amazing. <laughs>